to Curious Kids. I'm so grateful to see you all. Today is finally Mission to Mars. So, I got this box. I get it every month. It me it for three years. It means a lot to me. And so this is the last box. And then I'm going on to the next level of Cubico. It's named Mission to Mars. Let's see here what we're gonna make. Well, we're going to make a Mars rover. And it always comes a little story explaining everything about it. And inside here is all the tools you're going to use. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what's inside the box. I have these brown things. All different shapes. I have this big, big brown mat, looks like. I have a bag with some wood. Hmm, wonder what we'll be using these for. I have a bag with a, a thread, I guess. I have some different colored circles. I have a bag with lots of different tools in them. And last but not least, the bag with a paper, I guess. Plus these little circles. And that's everything. Oh, wait. And I also have this. I don't know what this is. But I'm going to put it here with the rest. And that's everything inside my box. So I separated all we need. We have everything we need right here. So then we can make our Mars rover. Now we're going to see our, our next step. Oh, we're going to... This are the first... This We're on part A. Building the back ankle. Well, now, let's start. So now we're going to build part C, building the body. I set everything out here. 
need. We'll need all this this stuff. Um, our front and back wheels. We'll need from home just some scissors. Now we're now let's see anything else we need. No. Okay. Now it says double check everything is right here. Yes, we have everything right here. Now. Let's build. Now we're on part D and we're going to make the flag, which is going to be right here on our Mars rover. Put it all these stuff together. Now let's see how it rolls. Pretty smoothly. Makes a little noise, bud. Pretty cool. Huh? Now we're going to make an obstacle course. Now we're going to make the critter. So it says here, we need to have them in order. So here we have them all in order. So first we will start with this one. Very hard. You have to very be careful. Be careful a lot not to rip the cardboard too. Very careful. Now we're going to stick it into here. Now make sure to line them before sticking them. Okay, there we go.
I have three Mars critters. These two plus this one. But I'm gonna warn you folks. If you ever do this at your home and you have Kiwiko, then Kiwiko is just the right thing. Just the right thing. But this, you need to peel them very carefully or you just rip up the paper and boom, can't do it. Okay, so now we have our complete set. We have our rover, our critters, our Mars mat, and our books. And now I'm going to place these cr critters onto my Mars mat. This is a good way. Mm, let's see. Okay, now let's see if it works. Find the test. Then now I'm going to read you a little bit of something inside my book. When I was pulling my rover up, I was using science. And so that's how it made down. I was making energy go while I hit the, push it the rover up. When I was, um, when I was testing my rover, I was using engineering. So, because when I, I needed to know if it would do well on its mission, or not. That's what they use real scientists do. This is the largest and highest resolution panorama the Curiosity rover has ever taken. It's made up of almost 1,200 individual images taken over four days. The rover's body is too close for the mass cam's telephoto lens, but we were able to capture the rover using the other mass cam lens. The higher resolution version is nearly 1.8 billion pixels. What I love about this panorama is that we can zoom way in and see details far in the distance. When you start to do that, you can see the rim of the crater we're inside of all the way to the north. Here's an impressive sight. 20 miles away is Slangpost Crater, just inside Gale Crater's rim. End to end, slang post is three miles wide. Something huge must have struck here. Whenever I start to think that Mars looks familiar, sites like this dramatic impact crater remind me that we're looking at a different planet. Curiosity is exploring a clay-bearing region on the side of a mountain. This ancient landscape was the site of lakes and streams billions of years ago. They left their clues in the finely layered clay-rich rock. This crumbling cliff is the edge of the green hue pediment. It's a vast sheet of rock draped over the side of a mountain. It must have formed after the lakes disappeared and the mountain took its present shape. Did it once extend even farther out? Curiosity looks a bit like an abstract painting here. That's because this is a 360 degree perspective. The image is warped, like looking through a fisheye lens. You can make out some amazing details on the rover itself. This is the shadow of Curiosity's mast. Here's RAD, an instrument that detects radiation from the sun and space. Thanks to RAD, we have a better idea of how to protect future astronauts on Mars. Why are there severed tubes and wires on the rover? These tubes were part of the fluid cooling system that circulated throughout the spacecraft that flew the rover to Mars. These wires were like an umbilical cord for data. They were cut during landing. In spite of all the dust, our sundial still tells us to explore. Trailing behind the rover, you can see our tracks. 
including where we climbed up a hill. Even after seven years on Mars, Curiosity is not done making tracks yet. Panoramas like this are like a window to another world. Explore it yourself in a 360 video. Look for the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe or hit the thumbs up if you like it. My videos, I, ha I have lots of other different science things to do with you. Bye!